I've been staying in touch with local small business owners amid the pandemic and these closures. Elise Haas is live this morning to share another perspective from someone in the service industry. Elise. Jenny, Pin Salon closed just days before the governor made it mandatory back in March. But now the owner of that salon, Crystal Field, tells me that she's really weary of reopening. She says that she and her staff don't really feel comfortable getting back to work and working in an environment where social distancing isn't possible. Something that can't properly social distance. I think the to me, the reason why so many people are pushing for hands-on professionals to go back to work is because we financially have to, which means it's not a choice. Instead of reopening right now, Crystal thinks hands-on industries like hair salons should be moved to phase two. But since the governor already moved to reopen Multnomah County tomorrow, Crystal says she'll have to open or else she's at risk of not only losing clients to other nearby salons, but also unemployment benefits. But all you do is you pull up your camera, it scans up, and it automatically takes you to our screening form. And you just fill. So to move forward, she has created a system for clients to scan in and digitally fill out COVID-19 information for contact tracing. She's invested in high-tech equipment to sanitize clients' phones, along with supplying hand sanitizer and free masks to clients. She says she's spending a lot of money to be able to sanitize hairbrushes and wipe down all surfaces. So she really describes the situation that she's in as a catch-22. So she just says she's going to try and do whatever she can to survive this. Ken and Jenny. All right, thank you, Elise. Well, we reached out to Governor Brown's office for a response to the salon's concern, and they said, quote, the one-week pause on reopening will give public health experts time to assess what factors are driving the spread of the virus and determine the best course of action. This week, we will be weighing whether to lift this pause, extend it, or make other adjustments to our reopening strategy.